And contrary to rumors about himself, President Duterte is actually out and about and is his usual fiery self. Duterte fired shots at local officials, leftist groups, and even Washington. President Duterte faced the public for the first time since rumors came out that he had slipped into a coma. And it appears that the president did not skip a beat. Duterte trained his sights on Cebu mayors, particularly Vicente Loot of the town of Dan Bantayan. Duterte has said before that Loot is one of the government officials allegedly involved in illegal drugs. Mayor Loot, a former police chief superintendent, also survived an ambush back in May. Police ninyo, there is a book, puro adik. Halos tanan, hasta inyo mga opisyal, hasta inyo mga pideya. Ang luot ka. Huwag mo akong takot eh, na military, military ka. Gusto mo, patayin ninyo muna ako, bago kayo. For as long as I said, not during my time. Do not do it. In his address to the Visayas chapter of the League of Municipalities in Cebu, Duterte urged officials to stay true to their duties. And if they face charges in the process, the president assured them he's got their backs. Improve on your performance as mayor. In your own small town, however small or humble it may be, you are the president there or representing me as president of your own republic. So you have to enforce the law against all. You avoid corruption because if it reaches the DILG and the recommendation, I cannot help you. But if you do your duty, tapos makaroon kayo ng kaso, just like the police, I will support and defend you. Duterte once again lashed out at Communist Party of the Philippines founder Joma Sison. Recall that it was Sison who posted on his Facebook page that he has received unverified reports that Duterte was in a coma. The president also warned the New People's Army against carrying out attacks. I'm warning you, rebel. Marami akong armas. You do some fighting there, I will freely use all the jets to bomb you. And if I hurt civilians, then it's part of the territory. Huwag kayo masyadong mag-atake-atake ng kampo magpatay because if you start a large political war, I will not hesitate to bomb you. Huwag na natin itong patagalin. Duterte also hit back at U.S. Defense Assistant Secretary Randall Shriver over his veiled threats should the Philippines push through with its plans to buy Russian submarines. And Duterte's outrage against the U.S. didn't stop there. Duterte claimed the CIA wants him dead. Nakikinig sa akin is United States. Sigurado yan ang CIA. Yan ang papatay sa akin yung mga na yan. America, Russia, China... Israel, maybe Indonesia. Nakatutok yan sa lahat sa mga leaders. Yung national security o CIA, may ano yan, kanya-kanyang ano, ito, si Duterte. For News 5, Jem Avancenia, we are One News.